Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. I'm doing a special episode on why people should stop freaking about uh, out about Joe Biden's upcoming executive order on crypto. There's been a lot of uh, misinformation about this. Some people even go as far as to think he's banning crypto. He ain't banning crypto. This is really not a big announcement. People just think, oh, it's an executive order. It's like powerful and stuff. But it's really not. I mean, this is not something that we haven't heard before. And I doubt it will actually affect the crypto world. Um, the line, the headline that people intentionally uh, let mislead people from Barron's was like, you know, Joe Biden says like crypto is a national security threat. He did not actually say that. The actual headline is the National Security Memorandum expected to come in the next few weeks would task parts of the government with analyzing digital assets and assembling a regulatory framework that covers crypto, stable coins, and NFTs, or non-fungible tokens. So essentially what Biden really wants to do is basically he wants to tell the Treasury, the SEC, the CFTC to get their crap together and actually work out a joint uh, overall framework for the regulation of digital assets. Now, this is actually not a bad thing. Because this is what we've all wanted for a long time. We want a coherent digital asset framework to regulate crypto. So this could actually be good, depending on what the agencies say. Now, there, like I said, there are a lot of pro-crypto proponents in Congress. And Congress has actually suggested making laws that take the power away from such agencies and just uh, put them into statutes. I'm not really sure if that's going to happen. But the thing is, like, this is not something to be afraid about afraid about because Biden is essentially like saying, I've given you a deadline. You need to come with it by this point. Now, Elizabeth Warren has tried this before, but like Gary Gensler just kind of like weasel his way around it. But, you know, like if it's an executive order with a deadline, they actually might need to pay more attention. So this is designed to look holistically at digital assets and develop a sit set of policies that give coherency to what the government is trying to do in its place, the, um, the person said. So basically, you know, a lot of the agencies treat cryptos as different things. This is going to take a look at uh, crypto and hopefully get some uh, congruency in their policies. So we'll, hopefully it'll be able to find what's a security, what's property, what's a currency, and what's a commodity, or define all cryptos in one of those plots. The State Department, Treasury Department, National Economic Council, and the Council of Economic Affairs would be involved in the initiative. So there's a lot of people involved in the initiative. And, you know, there's people on both sides. I highly doubt they'll ban crypto. I don't really know what this means for the privacy of cryptocurrencies. My guess is they're not going to be too friendly to things like Monero, but they were never friendly towards things like Monero. But I'm guessing that, like, with the technological innovations and stuff, <coughs> they'll be pretty friendly towards because it is actually creating a lot of jobs in the United States. The White House and National Security Council would also be involved. So they are going to look more at money laundering and tax evasion, but they've been doing that for a long time. So that's really not going to change much. Since crypto has an economic implications for national security, along those lines, the administration would instruct agencies to work on harmonizing regulations of digital assets between countries. So they're trying to get like um, overall regulations, not only in the United States, but between countries as well. They're trying to get some kind of international consensus on cryptocurrency regulation, which actually would be good. Because digital assets don't stay in one country, it is necessary to work with other countries on synchronization. So they want to synchronize regulations between the countries. They didn't really know, say what kind of regulations they were after, so we don't really know. It is kind of a white slate right now, but that's what you can actually expect from the executive order. The executive order is not going to ban exchanges. It's not going to ban cryptocurrency from the United States. It's probably not going to ch uh, change the structure of anything. It's just going to give a solid timeline of when, when these agencies need to get their crap together and actually do something for crypto. Because we all know that these agencies have been delaying for as long as possible because they really, really don't know what to do when it comes to crypto. The White House wouldn't issue recommendations. So the White House is actually going to stay pretty neutral. They're not going to be like, be friendly to crypto or don't be friendly to crypto. They're just saying like, hey, get your crap together and basically come out with some guidelines. I don't care what guidelines you come out with, but you better come out with some. And then they'll let the agencies and maybe Congress do the rest of it. Agencies would be given three to six months to come up with proposals and the White House would act as a policy coordinator. So they'll coordinate all these policies. 
but we should actually see some results from this executive order by the end of the year. So this could actually be a good thing if we actually get a solid set of rules and regulations for crypto. It won't be so like disjoint and people won't have to do so much guesswork. Whether these policies from these agencies will be good or not, we don't actually know. The White House is not going to push them either way. So the actual executive order is not really going to affect anything, but it might affect things in three to six months when these agencies actually come up with proposals, depending on what those proposals are. So that is going to be what the executive order is going to be about. No need to freak out about it, at least not for three to six months, because it's really not going to change anything right away. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button, and I will see you guys later.